Top Scary Islands When islands are the topic, most people imagine sunny places of unspoiled, pristine natural beauty where you can stay on the beach all day, relax and do nothing. But not all islands are a slice of paradise. There are some horror islands on our planet that attract travelers, not with their sunny beaches but with dark curiosity. From abandoned prisons and asylums to nests of paranormal activities, here are the names of some scary, haunted islands around the world you wouldn't want to visit. We'll start this list with probably the most famous haunted island on this list. You probably saw some of the movies made about the legendary Creepy Island Prison or heard the stories about the legendary Cell Block D that had a lot of scary names but is most famously known as The Hole and it's no wonder Alcatraz is often mentioned when dark tourism is the topic. Sicily. How about witnessing thousands of real people's decomposing bodies as if seeing a ghost wasn't terrifying enough? The Capuchin Catacombs of Palermo in Sicily, which advertise themselves as the site where the living meet the dead, can be found there. Its passages are lined with 45 intact naturally mummified remains as well as skulls and bones. Rosalia Lombardo, a two-year-old who was so expertly embalmed that she appeared to be asleep, rests in a glass casket with an unsettlingly calm expression. Key West Frightseeing is a big business in Key West, where several ghost toys relate some pretty macabre tales, such as the creepy ten-of-the-century doll named Robert on display in Fort East Martello and Captain Tony's Saloon, which is situated next to a hanging tree in a building that used to be a morgue and where skeletons were discovered under the floorboards during a renovation. Even Ernest Hemingway's fabled Key West mansion is said to be haunted, allegedly by both of them, as well as by his second wife Pauline and a black and white cat that keeps watch over the estate's cat cemetery. Bermuda Bermuda is stunningly gorgeous, even melancholic. Historic Street George, a 400-year-old village, is known for hosting ghosts, including Captain George Dew, who is said to play the harpsichord at the old rectory B&B &B, and the last woman to be prosecuted for witchcraft in Bermuda. Hugh Gray, a hotelier who died mysteriously in 1920 and is claimed to wander the pink sand beaches of Bermuda's western end, and Laura Cox, who angrily haunts the Orange Valley Roadhouse, where she passed away in 1861 are two more ghostly apparitions rumored to roam the 21-square-mile island. Santa Catalina This island, 20 miles off the coast of Los Angeles, is rumored to have so many ghosts that some who dabble in the paranormal think it's an energy conduit that brings spirits back. Coast Tours of Catalina describes all the spooky incidents that have occurred on this otherwise idyllic island. An old woman in a white robe and a deceased construction worker are set to be haunting the Art Deco-style Catalina Casino. The latter can be spotted in the women's lavatory on the mezzanine level. The spirit of Western author Zane Grey has been seen wandering the streets of Avalon. And in the movie too, it's reported that the ghost of Natalie Wood, who drowned nearby, roams a beach. Oaho. Even the name of the band, Night Marches, is enough to make you shudder. According to legend, these are the ghosts of ancient Hawaiian warriors that carry torches around the streets, never stare at them. You might come to believe that Oahu has a genuinely sinister side if you take into account the choking ghost of Waikiki, who strikes when you're asleep. A young woman wearing a red dress is supposed to haunt places like the Hilton Hawaiian Jamaica. Village. One of Jamaica's ghosts is so well known that she is the subject of a 1973 Johnny Cash song and a golf course in Montego Bay. The White Witch of Rose Hall, Annie Palmer, is a legendary figure on the island. She is claimed to have been a harsh plantation owner in the early 19th century who murdered her three husbands and tortured her slaves. Nighttime ghost tours of the Rose Hall Great House near Montego Bay are very popular. Although it's debatable whether Annie really existed and now haunts the mansion, spoiler, she did, but the legend might not be. Strange incidents have been reported. Poviglia while you can't travel there. Unless you trespass like some YouTube posters have, you can take a spooky boat ride around the island in the Venetian lagoon while a guide tells gruesome tales of tragedy, pain, and death. This island is reputed to be the most haunted island in the entire world. That's because it's believed that Paveglia is where more than 160,000 souls who were imprisoned here for many centuries and infected with the plague and who were also mentally tortured have their decaying bones. 
Nevis. Nevis, a 35-square-mile tropical paradise known for its laid-back mood and cheeky green vervet monkeys, is cursed, according to legend, at the Eden Brown estate because of a terrible turn of events at a wedding nearly 200 years ago. The details of the story differ, but it is said that the groom or both men would have died in a duel when the groom and his best man got into an argument. It's believed that the sad bride-to-be haunts the now-destroyed sugar plantation that was abandoned. Isle of Sky. The spirits on this Scottish island therefore appear to go much beyond single malt whiskies. Dunvegan Castle is located on the Isle of Skye, where amiable, music-loving ghosts play bagpipes in the South Tower and sing in a room devoid of musical equipment. Ha MacDonald, whose tortured spirit haunts the prison where he starved to death, and a housemaid who unintentionally threw a clan chief's son out of a window and still weeps in agony, are among the four spirits said to reside in the remains of Duntom Castle. Tasmania The violent 19th-century British penal colony past of this Australian island has given rise to a lot of spooky tales. At the Port Arthur historic site, where 1,000 inmates died over a 47-year period and nighttime ghost tours are filled with spooky details, visitors can search for ghostly apparitions in the prison cells and autopsy room. They can also explore the historic streets of Battery Point in Hobart and the eerie alleyways of Launceston, where ghosts are rumored to prowl. Finally, there are the Tasmanian devils that live on the island and whose screams are enough to give anyone nightmares. Detman's Island no island has a better name than Deadman's Island when it comes to eerie island names. The historical record of what transpired on this island after the Squamish people had lived in British Columbia states that something really weird took place. The southern tribes on the island defeated the northern tribes in battle, killing 200 northern warriors right there and then. On the same area where they had thrown the dead, the southerners discovered flaming fire flowers the following morning. They abandoned the island in horror at this point. Additionally, during the past 100 years, the list of eerie activities on this island has expanded. Many others claim to have heard sounds like glass breaking, unnatural cries, eerie chanting, and bright lights. Eyes in the fog, mysterious lights, etc. There were attempts to turn the island in an amusement park and later a navy base, but both plans were unsuccessful due to reasons unknown to the public. Isle of Wight. On the island, there have been many tales of paranormal activity, but two areas in particular stand out. The Royal Hospital for Chest Diseases used to be located at the same location as the Botanic Gardens, which is the first one. Numerous others reported seeing weird individuals moaning and sobbing in the garden. The other is Knight and Gorge's historic manor home. Since the 1800s, this home has been dismantled. But every new year at midnight, a reputed ghostly apparition of the manor is said to materialize. Anyway, visitors to the Isle of Wight aren't deterred by these two allegedly haunted locations, it's actually among the top vacation spots in the UK. The Island of the Dolls You might have the unfortunate experience of coming across the eerie Island of the Dolls, or in Spanish, La Isla de las Municas, while traveling through the picturesque canals of Xochimico near Mexico City. This location appears like it could have been plucked right out of a horror film. According to legend, a young girl was killed on the island's coast and the island's custodian remembered her by hanging a doll from a tree. To give the island its current appearance, more and more dolls were hanged there over the years. This island Thousands is perfect of Japanese if you enjoy watching scary films. Hashima Island The Japanese island of Hashima Island once held the record for having the densest population on the planet. Despite this, there are still some people living on the island, which was once famous for its coal mining. Thousands of Japanese laborers, as well as forced laborers from China and Korea, lived on the island during World War II and labored in the mine shaft. The majority of the enormous concrete structures are still standing, giving the island the appearance of an old abandoned battleship or floating ghost town. Sakura Island you might be excused for thinking, while visiting Sakura Island, that you accidentally arrived on an other planet. This remarkable island, which is managed by Yemen and is located east of the Horn of Africa, is home to an incredible variety of rare plants and animals that are not found anywhere else in the globe. The island's mysterious appeal is enhanced by spectacular geographical features, eerie beaches, dragon's blood trees, 
and numerous unusual bird species. That's all for today's video. I hope that this video is helpful for you. So do like and subscribe to our channel for more informative videos and share your ideas in comment section.